Greetings and salutations. This is Domingo Martinez here, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to light up an RGB based on the distance. So we're going to sense an object in front of us, and based on how far that object is, we're going to light our RGB LED a specific color. So the one component that we're going to utilize today is called the ultrasonic sensor. So the ultrasonic sensor, what it does is it allows you to sense objects that are directly in front of it. So depending on how far the object is, your RGB LED could light specific colors or whatever color you want it to light up. So first let me go ahead and show you how to set up the uh, ultrasonic sensor. So you have three pins here, there's ground, five volts, and signal pin. So we're going to go ahead and set up grounds, and you have two grounds over here, so it makes no difference which one you use. So I'll just go ahead and uh, use the first one that's available. And GND should always be black, so let's be consistent with our color coding. And then 5 volts, let's go ahead and connect that to the 5 volts on our Arduino. So this is going to be our power source for the ultrasonic sensor. And always make that red. And so your signal is going to go to one of these uh, pins here. Uh, let's go actually and connect it to pin 7 for now. And that's going to depend on your code. So we can make it any color. I'll just go ahead and make it orange. Now to use the ultrasonic sensor, um, one thing that's useful is since Arduino is an open source, Arduino actually has a code provided for you. So if you were to Google Arduino and type in ultrasonic sensor or ping, you would come up with this page. And it actually provides you with the code needed to simply gather data quickly depending on how far the object is. So we're just going to copy and paste this code here. We're going to utilize this open source platform that Arduino has provided for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste. Actually since I already have previous, what I have previously up here, I'm going to utilize that as well. So I'm going to paste that there. And then whatever I have above void setup, I'm going to keep that above void setup here. Whatever I have in void setup, and I'm going to delete void setup there. I didn't have anything in void loop, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put this in void setup. And I already have a serial dot begin, so we're good there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload and run this. And let me click on my serial monitor here real quick. And you'll notice that it's printing out data already. So automatically, we know our sensor is working. So with circuits and Tinkercad, if you click here on this little green light, you'll see an object that you can move around. And so this object is being sensed by the ultrasonic sensor. And you could tell how far it is in inches and in centimeters. So depending on how far you are, you can utilize that information. And you'll notice it's being printed here for our convenience. And we have to have it printed so that way we can manipulate that data. All right. so we have inches given here and centimeters given here so we can utilize any one of those sets of data and let's go ahead and stop our simulation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, I'm just going to look at the distances that are provided and I'm going to say a good distance to start with is maybe 10 inches so if an object is less than 10 inches so inches less than 10 then what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and light up a specific color. So notice when you're making an if statement, this is the syntax you should use. Make sure that you have your um, condition within these parentheses. You start with a brace and be sure that you close that if statement with that brace. 
and then within the braces you'll place what should be executed for instance we want to turn on let's turn on red so to turn on red you say digital right red high but let's make sure that we turn everything else off while this is being turned on so I'm gonna go ahead and make this blue make this green and be sure that you turn them off so let's go ahead and make sure that those are low those are low and so if we're less than 10 inches away from our sensor then it should light up red now what if we're let's see, I'm gonna copy copy and paste this my best friend BFF so I'm gonna go ahead and say if greater than what's a dramatic number we'll say greater than 100 so if it's greater than 100 we'll turn on green and we'll make sure red is off now if you want to do something in between two numbers so let's say for instance we want to go between 10 and 100 or actually let's make that 50 we don't need to be so dramatic so extra let's go ahead and say if greater than 10 and inches less <laughs> inches less than 50 alright so this is between two numbers so it's going to be greater than 10 and less than 50 so then it's going to light up let's go ahead and make it light up blue and we'll turn green off so if it's greater than 50 it lights up green if it's less than 10 it lights up red and if it's between those two values then it's going to light up blue so let's see how that works so we have an error here oh, duh. I have inches twice alright so it is between it's at 41.8 so it's between 50 and 10 so it's blue if it's less than 10 it should be red bam there it is now let's see if it's greater than what happens if it's greater than 50 it should light up green and there it is thank you